So now we're going to see the aggregate supply. So we create the aggregate supply based on the wage setting and price setting relationships. Take the old price setting. Uh, now change uh, nominal wages by the expression we got in the wage setting. But instead of just writing unemployment, let's take unemployment as 1 minus output over AL. So we get this expression for the aggregate supply that depends negatively on this and positively on Z. Remember Z is the catch-all variable which uh, can englobe things like uh, the minimum wage or unemployment benefits and employment insurance and so on. So the basic idea is that the two variables here are the expected price level and basically output. Because everything else, the markup, um, the productivity, C, remain constant, are given exogenously. And for example, if we have an increase in output, that would uh, increase the employment level in the economy which uh, of course will decrease the unemployment level in the economy and also the unemployment rate and if the unemployment rate is lower then workers have higher bargaining power if they have bargaining power that's higher they will be able to increase their salaries the nominal wage and if they increase the nominal wage firms will face higher costs Remember, this side will be higher. So prices uh, set by firms from the price setting, they will be higher. And that will overall just increase the price level. So that's the reason why when output in the economy increases, that brings an increase in prices, that is inflation. On the other hand, if the expected price level is higher, that is, uh, workers believe that prices will be higher, then they will want to increase their salaries you know, in order not to lose purchasing power. If they increase their nominal uh, wage, then uh, firms, remember, will face higher costs. And if they face higher costs, then they will set prices higher. And that will overall just increase the price level in the economy one-to-one -one with the increase in expected price level. So the aggregate supply curve will look something like this. Remember, one, when output grows, then uh, prices also grow. There is inflation. And there is a unique point right here, which is where uh, output is equal to um, natural output level. And that is the only point where the prices equal the expected price level. So you will see that it's at this level of output where it equals the um, natural level of output where we find the medium run level of output. And along this uh, vertical line, prices equal the expected level of prices. But you'll see that later on.